Hello, 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 and welcome again to another Destiny 2 video. Once again, I have my friend Robert, or also known as Shimura. What's poppin', Jimbo? And, as you might have known, again, we have taken a long break from the recording of Destiny 2. Let's just say that some of us have varied different interests when it comes to video games. So it takes a little while, but thankfully we'll be getting this one out of the way so that it doesn't vault up before we're done with it. We're thinking maybe this one should be, what, done within a single video? Probably. So, oh, definitely a single video. I was going to say maybe a single mission. I think we're on the either the second to last step or the last step. I'm not sure exactly which one. Yeah, so this might be another one of those. Might be another one. What? What was it that we did? It was... Uh... The Warmind? Warmind, yeah. yeah. So it might be another Warmind where it was like eight minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> so well, hey, it just means we out. can get Gem started on Forsaken. Which is true. We can get that done too. So we've been needing to get to the DLC stuff for quite a while now. But thankfully, that, that won't be time gated. <laughs> we can yeah, do that. Staying. Thank goodness. We can do that whenever we've got the time to do so. But now. Let's get this one out of the way. This one's called Deep Storage. Ooh. Echo Mesa. Search the Pyramidian on IO for a map of the Infinite Forest to guide you to Pano Panoptes. I think that's what it's called. Panoptes, Panoptes my favorite war mind. All right. <laughs> Off we go, shall we? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, it's been a while since I've played Destiny. Been a little been a time I haven't really uh, done anything in terms of getting my power level up or anything like that I haven't done any raids lately just been hoping to do the campaign eventually so I was hoping that you guys would eventually be done with what you guys are doing and then I might take you for a little while you know what I mean yeah, um, I have a little bit of an issue with, uh, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Farming obsessi obsessively? <laughs> yeah, I've seen you guys get busy over there. Are you sure there's a map of the infinite forest uh, here? Raids and whatnot. If the whatnot. vets are trying to reshape the future, the period Yeah, I'm already, uh, I think plan. I got to the power 1060 and I, th I, I was like 1020 and I got to 1060 and I think, uh, Half a month. Oh, not bad. Which is, it, it's, it's, I, I, I could be remembering things incorrectly, but from what I remember, it was fairly quick, mainly because I have the season artifact because I, I bought the season. Well, actually, um, uh, back when Forsaken was just released, they had a deal for an annual season pass so you could buy it and have just like one whole year covered. I only spent like 30 bucks on it. So it was, it was, Pretty nice. So I, it runs out when Beyond Light's coming. So I'm hoping to maybe snag this if they're doing another annual pass. I don't know if they will. Right. With me, you get the shortcuts. Anyway. <laughs> With me, you get the shortcuts. No vex. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, no vex. Yay! Because we love like not it. shooting at things. Well, I mean, you know, every time we came to the uh, strike here, it wasn't there would always be Vex. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And being the smartest person in the room. Oh, speaking of Vex. You are still the same by the book I Cora, I remember. I'm not so sure about that. Losing my light was revealing. I see now I need to Oh, I forgot to have the... Ooh. Maybe we all do. Give me one second. I need to put a seasonal mod on this. Oh, some seasonal mods, you say? Yes, sir. The anti-barrier goes through hobgoblin recovery phases. Ah, yes. That's also where the area on Val shines. Hobgoblins are the worst. They're still the worst. They You're will great. forever be the worst. Looks like Ikora was right. And they're not even pretty to look at. Show the Pyramidian does receive data from the failing the warlock dash. I mean, uh, skate. I've got the location of a conflux where we can access it. Um, I think I've used some different sensitivities because this feels a little slower than what I'm used to now. 
I can reprogram that warp gate. It should get us close. Yeah, to the I think that's what happens to most people who play video games. Well, I mean, not me. I just stick to the same difficulty. But then again, I played for like a year beforehand, so I was constantly tweaking it. But yeah, I will say Destiny's um, uh, mouse settings are interesting to say the least. Have set lower. Right, I gotcha. I'll probably right. just quickly adjust them here after this. See if I can rush ahead. Oh, here we go. Hello, buddy. Okay, just give me a moment, real quick. Yep. Oh, gonna I'm gonna tap up my All you gotta do is jump the hoop. No worries, take your time. Ooh, that's a little too fast. Maybe drop it down by five. Oh man. There we go. That feels more like it. It just yeah, felt cheat. it just felt Come a little on. too slow for my liking I nowadays. Done this before. Yeah. We've well, achieved that didn't perfection. Work as well as I expected. The Sagira I knew would never admit to anything less than Osiris level perfection. Akora, here's a secret. No one has ever lived up to Osiris's reputation. Not even Osiris. <laughs> Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. It's probably not supposed to, is it? It's like one of those things where um, somebody has like a really big reputation and they don't even match their reputation. Right. Like, uh, um, one of the newer uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, Happy was talking about how nobody could live up to Tony's reputation of being like the smartest guy in the room or something to that effect and said, not even Tony. And it, was like, it was like, whoa, cool. But it's like, yeah, it's just one of those things that just happens in real life. Wow, the dead bodies are flying down here with us. <laughs> Ow, and I took, <laughs> I took full on fall damage. Oh, F. Look out, we've got incoming. Incoming. Yeah. Not much of a worry. Just like, you know, little scrap bots, you might say. Yes, sir. Put together by what they like to call Vex Milk. Radiologin fluid, I think is what it's officially called, but yeah, yeah but Vex Milk is the best way to put it. <laughs> I mean, you even cook with Vex milk. Come on. Oh, that's you know what? That's true. That's true. Let me cr uh, get some uh, scrambled guardian brains up on Vex milk. Let's do it. Where are you, Campbell? Uh, no, not at all. No, no, no. Hmm. Actually, funnily enough, the Awoken were originally referred to as space vampires. Serious? Yeah, that was the the. That's how they called them originally back in the planning phases. So. uh... It's kind of funny yeah, that you call me a cannibal and I'm a Wilkin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've got something. Coordinates for a node in the infinite forest. Ooh, hello there. That's where our map is. Okay, so we're s now we're second to last. We get that map, and then I okay. think I don't remember. Anyway. Well, we surpassed eight minutes, so that's a good thing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> As long as we don't do any Trials of Osiris, I'm fine with whatever we do. <laughs> uh, I heard Trials of Osiris is a complete mess right now. Ooh, I mean, I suck at PvP, so that's <laughs> mainly why I don't like it. Well, but, I hear there's uh, a lot of hacking going on, too. Yeah, that's also what I was going to say. There are some hackers there, so, I mean, you win some, you lose some. Yep, yep. So, Tree of Possibilities campaign. Mercury, now you know where to find the map of the Infinite Forest. Go and get it. Well, then let's go get it, shall we? We can't have it unless it's in our hands or in our data banks. I mean, you're not wrong. But. No, that's it. That's it. You're not oh. wrong. Well, usually there's a catch that comes with that, so that's why I said. <laughs> well, no. you're not wrong, but. <laughs> No, I was just trying to pull a uh, Michael Scott. He goes, how the turntables. Oh, how the turntables. And you wait for someone to respond. It's how the table. Gotcha. <laughs> Got him. Did you 
just wait for that one person to stand to out. Legion activity on Mercury. <laughs> Survivors from Everybody the else night. knows they've Survivors, been fooled huh? once. Let's finish the job. Or they've learned of, of the false trickery. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't talking. I just stuck my face full of Subway. Hey, food's food. Eat what you can, right? Mm -hmm. Just, you know, don't make yourself sick. Unless we're talking about a food coma. In that case, uh... Uh, food coma is much different. Oh, yeah. And no, even we're food, on. Food coma is the kind of thing where you... It, you want to be tired, it's perfect. Locked. But Let's then again, right. when you're then sitting here doing map, something and it's affecting you, you just kind of like, you doze off, your head tilts forward, and you're like, I can't focus. Ow. Like, I've done that, like, what, too many times? Oh, yeah, especially when you're, like, you're just almost non-responsive, and then you're like, food, come, I'm gonna go lay down. Uh-huh. And that's it. I, I once was unresponsive, but it came down to a game okay. of Rainbow Six Find against two others, and which was <laughs> me and uh, some friends, who I apparently scare the living crap out of every time I do. Oh, yeah, awesome. I get. I still hear horror stories about that day. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too. I loved it. Copies of himself, I don't think. I I, I was just one man against the two. I mean, not to say that I won every game. I I was sure of uh, getting my ass handed quite a few times, but there was I mean, quite a few yeah. games that I was actually having to win the score because I would go around the entire building, like I would break every window, I would tap every wall, make sure to confuse the hell out of them. And then I wound it up one round in the stairwell after, uh, I think, I think it was Jack. I think I gunned down Jack first, up on the upper floor, because we were in the, uh, we were in the map that was just a two-level, two-story house. I wouldn't know. I don't play a Rainbow Six. But if anyone else does know, they would know what the map layout is. Um, there was a stairwell, and after I gunned down one of them, someone, one of them came towards the stairwell and tried to shoot me. Like, they, we were like bold face to face, just looking at each other. I would have been gunned down, but for some reason, even though that they fired first, um, I survived and I managed to gun them down. Huh. I don't know how it happened, but that that put me in such a shock because I didn't expect it to happen so fast. And because competitive gaming isn't something I regularly do, it messes with me mentally where it makes me really tired because I, especially in a game like that it requires a lot of thinking and strategy you know you have to mm -hmm. wonder where everybody's coming from the ceiling the walls you've got so many extra variables because you can shoot through walls you can blast through them you can break them down with a sledgehammer you come from the ceiling you can you can get seen by drones you can use drones there's just so many variables. Oh, how uh, that? There's just so many variables, so it really put some work into my brain to where uh, I get mentally uh, exhausted. Right. And that, those few games, was definitely one that put me to sleep because I couldn't take it anymore. I had uh, spent all I could to try and win because it was just, I don't know, there's just too many variables for me to take in for too long. Hence why, you know, a lot of the times when Drake or Jack, they, they, they love competitive games. Oh yeah. They, 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 they can play. They want me to join. But I'm always like, ah, I'm always 
kind of eh about it, you know? Yeah, I uh, I made the mistake of agreeing to play Rainbow, uh, not Rainbow, um, for honor with them. And uh, you'd think, because it was my first time, they'd go easy on me, but no, sir. No, sir. They wiped the floor with me. And if I even I got a win, was, they... I think that was initiation. <laughs> you know what? If that's initiation, uh, I'm quite frankly scared for anything else that might follow. So, <laughs> I'm good. It's how I learned. Yeah. They showed me the ropes on a few of their skills they started out with. And to be honest, this is a combat loop. I don't the want to doubt the them about it the either, because I, I personally, I can try to go easy on somebody, but sometimes my ability in a game kicks in and I just react in a certain way. Sometimes it is difficult for some people to not let their habits get ahead of them. Right. And I've been known to do that sometimes. I've done that. Uh, with family and sisters before. Uh, I invite them to a game that they haven't played before. I put my skills in play, and then that's what quickly, you know, that's what quickly kills the uh, party because, well, <laughs> I am using my ability. Oh, what did I do? Well, hmm? I, I, I did a stupid. I thought I could jump in midair with my sparrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, see <laughs> now I'm now I'm rusty at Destiny. I, I'm not I'm not super super precise or good at Destiny as I used to because I've been too far away from it. But you know what? Right. I don't care. It's fun to play every once in a while. I got you. Uh, I, got you. I keep on go I keep on going off on different. Oh, I thought I had to write that. I, th I keep on going off into different conversations right now. My mind's going through a lot. So that's uh, okay. I'm keeping up with you, so you're good. Let's see. What I'm, was I talking about? We were talking about uh, For Honor, and uh, oh yeah, that's how Jack I learned. Didn't. That's definitely how I learned. But I also kind of asked for it, so <laughs> it's my fault. I mean, I definitely did too. Don't get me wrong. I I was like literally. T I was Ow. like, oh yeah, I'll kill you guys first try, and. Me just trying to mess around and joke, like I didn't expect them to actually take me seriously, but uh, no. Oh no, they, no uh... they'll take you seriously. Trust me. Oh yeah. They do not mess around. You you uh, showing off. you beg for it. They Listen, will. I oh. already like you. You passed. You can yeah, I learned that the hard way. Anyway, it's fine. Not a big deal. Not like uh, I wanted to, you know, win or anything. <laughs> yeah. It's a good game. I like it. I really do. Oh, I hope that's an accident. For Honor is a pretty good game. I've learned to play. I think. I think it's Crusader. Yeah. There's Crusader. Uh, there's, there's also the one with the Mason Lobbinger. Shield. Uh, I, I believe so. I wouldn't know. I believe so. Because oh, that's really? one I like playing. I like playing the Crusader, which I think the name of it is. And um. Oh my gosh, I am rusty. Oh, um, what did I do? I like playing the one with the Mason Shield, and I've been doing some pretty crazy things with him. <laughs> like, uh, two days ago, I was bored, no one was around. I called up Drake, Drake was around. I said, hey, I've got energy I need to spend. Choose something. He said, swords <laughs> and shields. I was like, I hear for honor. All right, let's go do for honor. Um, I was having a, I was having a few bad games because uh, I was somewhat rusty. I hadn't played in a little while, and um, oh, I was playing my usual Mason Shield guy. I keep calling, calling Crusader, but I keep forgetting. Look at that ahead of us. That has um, to be I, yeah, either way, I mean, Sword and Shield guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've had some bad beautiful. games. I was trying to get back up to snuff. That Minotaur is going to be trouble. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. I might be able to melt the boss just right here if I can pull the sword out. Yeah, just give me a sec here. Oh, his health goes back up after you drop down so far. 
Oh, uh, no, what I'm saying is uh, if I, with the Falling Guillotine, you can just kill him right here and then just waltz right to the end. Oh, that's fine. Well, I guess I should have uh, saved that for you then. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I mean, not only is it your story mission, so I don't, I don't, I have never tried it on the story, so I don't know if it runs differently on top of that. I'm not sure if I could have just done it on my own right off the bat. Who knows? But as soon as I, I mean, tried to take my third shot, he gained health and ran off. Oh no! If he okay, if he gained health, well, you maybe if I had somebody else, but go for it. Let me try on you first. Let's see what happens. What's up? Oh, so close! No, no, no! Come here! Yeah, I think here! I think the story limits. Ah. Oh, I love lasers! I love lasers. They're amazing. Oh, if I only charge it up by getting the ads first, that's ah, fine. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, it's got the uh, the whirlwind attack, so the more Ow. kills, I mean, more attacks I land with left click, right, more you. damage I do. Like that's it. fine. I mean, if anything, he's just gonna be easier for us when we finally catch up with him. I've still got Dark Knight available. Oh, I was talking about For Honor. Uh, after the bad games that we've had, which, I mean, we were still having fun. We were just enjoying the, you know, old medieval fight. There was one match that I was that doing pretty bad at, but then, like, suddenly at the end, I had this, uh, so, I, I had this energy in me, I guess, or this focus. That's it. That's the word. Mm -hmm. I had this focus in me. I was, I was pinned up with like two or three different guys. I think it was just two. Yeah. So these two guys tried to pin me up against a wall, but I managed to get a hold of one of my abilities and cast it, so I was much more durable. I took one guy out on the right. Uh, miraculously, because I also uh, achieved revenge mode, which gave me an extra burst of power and speed, it seems. And I took him out with a light attack. And then I went towards the other guy, and I took him out. It was crazy, because usually two or more guys are able to corner me like that and take me out. But because I had revenge, and I used an ability... I was able to actually put a saving throw in there and just go whap whap woo. <laughs> <laughs> the so the last guy was the big guy. He had two a two-handed axe. I was just whap whap whap, and he almost died in one more hit. But he blocked my attack. I was I was gonna die in one more hit too. But then friendlies came over, like two or three of them. They came mm -hmm. down the stairs and they mauled <laughs> they mauled him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the most glorious thing ever. It's like, damn, I'm doing really bad at this game. Then near the end, it's like, all right, that's it. <laughs> I'm falling off the gloves. <laughs> uh, something happened then, and I was just focused. I was just like, I'm going to get you this time. <laughs> uh, I love the game for those moments. All right, here we go. Let's progress. I tell you what, if it wasn't the story that lasts long enough, us talking made it last longer. Scanning. Oh, definitely. I can't find Panatis. The map's too big. Ugh. I can't search it fast enough. It changes constantly. <clears throat> I need more processing power. There are Vex mines on Nessus that might do the trick. You up for a hunting expedition? Totally. Yeah, let's do some. Let's do some hunting. Uh, so uh, what? Oh. Wow. Oh, I was just taking a bit. So this is the last mission, eh? Did it go further? Does Curse of Osiris last longer than that of Warmind? I think I think maybe it's just the same amount of time. It's just because we've had so much time in between. Probably. Maybe it just seems longer. Oh, oh I feel like there's more missions. Huh? Down to Vex Mind. Where do we go? We go to Nessus. And hijacked. Arcadian Valley. You need a Vex mine to help you read the map of the Infinite Forest. Head to Nessus to find one. Off we go to the Arcadian huh. Valley. 
while I stuff my face with more Subway. Oh, dude, stop talking about food. Now you're making me hungry. It's barbecue, too. It's mm, so good. Shut it. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> How dare you taunt me with food? How dare you taunt me with food? I require sustenance too. I'll get something here after. It's, uh, it has like bits of pickle and bacon in it too. And the way the juices all just flow together. Mm. Can, 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 can I strangle you now? <laughs> Once I hit it, it located an entangled mind. Are you all? That class of Dominic, are you hungry? Oh no. I am power you need. I'm so sorry. <laughs> nah. I, I spot sarcasm. <laughs> No, no, it's it's genuine. <laughs> it's so genuine. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, these guys looking fancy. I haven't seen these kind of guys in. Woo! They look pretty. Now this. Yeah, this is kind of out there, but if the gay, if like um um. Bungie decided to make us be able to toggle skins for certain enemies. Oh my goodness, the um, the precursor the precursor Vex looks so much cooler. <laughs> well, that would be an interesting feature. Change the models, oh. client size. Yeah, probably not gonna happen though, but it's fine. It's still something cool to think about. I mean, I could see it if it were not in like a raid or story sense, say like you know just open world. But then again, I guess the type of the type of enemy kind of does matter in its lore. That's fair. It's still gonna be so cool. I am interested, however, when it comes to shooters, is Halo Infinite. That is does seem interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, the trailer I was looking at earlier. Oh, it is. It looks beautiful. I'm just um low-key worried about how the uh, the story will turn out. Yeah. How it. I've, I've heard a lot of things about you know, Halo 4, Halo 5. That's the whenever it got swapped Don't over to 343. Okay, I will say this. 343, they tried to make something really cool. I re okay, Halo 4 wasn't terrible. No. I will say this. Halo 4 was actually pretty decent. I, I could see myself at least coherently understanding the story. Um, Halo 5 got confusing. Especially when um, the iterations of Spartans were becoming a little interesting. But uh, for the most part, I like, like I said, I'm sure they're trying their hardest. So I don't like bashing on them too hard. Because it's, it's still... It's still Halo, but there's a lot of things that were different that just makes you think. I can, after seeing other players' thoughts and stories about it, I can see how it's changed. Mm -hmm. How things are different. Right. Uh, personally, I do really like the feel of the old classic Halos because of the gameplay style. But I hear that Halo Infinite's supposed to have a, a classic feel if that's the case i will probably like it i don't mind the uh i don't i don't mind halo 5 because i mean in terms of uh this is our processor i just need to connect it to the vex network combat wise and mechanics wise i don't mind like right. the whole aiming down the sights uh, there should work. um you know first person shooter kind of mechanic i don't i don't mind it too much but you know, like you said, it, it did kind of lose its classic Halo feel, which, I mean, it's nice too. It's like Quake, you know, Quake's also pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Every, everybody loves a good classic remake, you know. If you can remake a classic game with better graphics, then that's okay. Because, you know, Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 3, I think Halo 2 is also among the big ones, but when it comes to multiplayer, I've heard it's those three that were the really big multiplayer additions. 
Yeah, um, in Halo, t uh, Halo 2, when Bungie was shutting down the servers, I don't think anyone was getting off. Like, no one was getting off the servers. They were all just playing until it literally uh, came to them shutting down the servers. And I think Bungie, since they wanted it to end gracefully, they promised the players who were staying on cosmetics in the next Halo if they would, like, log off and uh, let them, I think, shut the servers down gracefully, which is what ended up happening, and, um, which is really nice of them, which is really cool. Shows that the community, even though the game was quote-unquote technically dead, um, the community still loved it, it enough really to hop on. It really was dead. Awesome. Well, I mean, it, in terms of, I guess, um, of it being shut down, it would have been, but being that there were still players, I mean, I mean, there's still players today that play. I mean, that's fair. I mean, it's not really dead if you still got people who really want to play it. That's fair. But if you're talking about, what, are you talking about majority? Yeah, I was talking about, like, just the majority of the, the player base had just kind of dwindled off. Which is why there was such an upsurge when they were all like, hey, the servers Get are shutting the down. Because everyone was like, all right, let's just do this like one last time. And it was it was really cool to see that curve. I, I didn't see it personally, but right. um, watching, like looking back, watching people on YouTube talk about it, you know, the graphs and stuff like that. It's just Halo players are just another breed. <laughs> and it will keep on going now that you've got you know, Master Chief Collection. Like yes, that. sir. I have yet to actually try a public Halo match before, but I hear it's like one of the big ones. Yeah, I've uh, I just don't try because I, I I played Halo I think Reach online once. I got my butt handed to me within like five seconds. Oh, trust me. If if you've ever seen any uh, real professional players play it's like you've got you give them a sniper rifle you're gone that's it it's like you're gone as soon as they get their hands on a sniper I'm like all right <laughs> honestly look I, I congratulate you kinds of people being able to just you know improve your skills like that but you have you have to be honest like how much time do you spend in a day playing one singular game to get that good? Do you do anything else? <laughs> and no problem. I thought I could sneak a few big bites while you were talking, but boy, was I wrong. Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, I get where you're coming from. I mean, on one hand, you do have games like Guild Wars, which require a lot of time and attention to be able to um, progress in it. But at the same time, I mean, we're talking, I mean, not what you were talking about spending a lot of time in a game to get good at it, which doesn't necessarily mean just... Um, accumulated time, it means like, you know, focus, and I mean, I play Destiny, I would say about close to four to six hours a day. You'd have to play at least double that to be able to get even close to some of these people, and it's just crazy. I don't understand how they can do it. Exactly. I just think it's nuts that they can be that accurate, that precise, mm -hmm. that fast. I'm just like, that almost feels inhuman. <laughs> Oh yeah, especially oh well that that was that's how I felt when I was watching when I was playing um, Halo against Brianna. Mm -hmm. If she got a sniper, I'd pop my head up for not even a second, not even, and I'd be dead. That was it. It would just you just hear whiz, and that's it. I'm dead. She's got more uh, competition in her than I would ever have. That's what allows her to focus so easily and adapt yeah. so fast. Like there's some people that adapt. To a game extremely fast right i know how to adapt to a game functionally but in terms of having a immense amount of skill i'm like and game sense yeah it's like yeah. i have to take my time to get real used to things like this you know drake got titanfall 2 for me while it was on a major sale and we played right. some multiplayer on there at first i was like holy crap 
Am I ever going to get anywhere on this game? Because, you know, it's just it, bullets flying everywhere. When, really, you just got to play the same way. You just got to go nuts. You just got to bounce off walls. You got to shoot everybody you see, you know, because there's enemies running across walls, jumping across everything, grappling, have super speed. Everybody's riding in titans, you know. <laughs> there's so much going on so fast because it's super fast paced but eventually I grew used to the mechanics and I grew used to the speed of the game it just takes time it's just yeah. some people can grasp it so fast but they just have so much time it just blows my mind you know yeah I feel that I played the the first Titanfall and it took me a long time to get used to how fast paced it was. And even then, the only game, the only gun I think it was good with was the uh, ADS gun, the one that just automatically targets and shoots people. Oh, you mean the smart pistol? Yeah, only gun I was ever good with. Oh, uh, my favorite, I don't know if it was in the first one, but it's the L Star. Do you know what I, that is? I don't remember that one, no. The L Star is a laser rifle. It has a uh, cooldown if you overheat it. Okay. But it's, so a, it's a very like powerful a... rifle. The, the projectiles are a little slower, but if you know how to use them right, it's a very powerful weapon. <laughs> I I play as the stim, so I can increase my speed and give myself some healing when I need an emergency. And I right. just... I just, yeah, I just speed through the map. I just bounce off walls. I even got the ability for the L star to be able to shoot it while sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just there going, eh, drrr, eh. I've, I've gotten some kill streaks before, and it was pretty exciting. So. I'm in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> of course, you hear gunfire in the background, and then it's like, whoa. Yeah, here every Thursday night. Oh goodness! Right, yeah, I live. I live in the actual ghetto, so it's fine if I die. Um, my gravestone will say, um, according to one of my raid members, he said, "Your gravestone will say." Because um, we were right about to start the raid, and I was like, "I gotta go pee real quick." <laughs> and they were kind of getting on me. It's like, "It's okay, it's okay." I'm a fast peer, and I left. Oh wow! <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yeah, and, and then I came back. I was just trying to be funny, and I came back, and they're all like, that's going to be on your gravestone. I'm a fast peer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. So there we yeah, go. that, that's your last quote right there. Yep, yep. <laughs> that's right your next final to, quote. <laughs> right next to that video of you and Zach and Drake playing a scrap mechanic, right next to me saying, let me put some pants on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yep, that's going to be your quote right there. <laughs> <sighs> I gotta get some pants on right on that video. Bam. Yeah. Smack yeah. Dad. Yeah. I, for okay, for those of you who are confused, I had just woken up because I had um stayed up to like two or three in the morning. So I I woke up. I hopped on headset. Here's the thing: they were in the general voice channel, so I didn't think it'd be anything of it. So I just hopped in, and they're talking about Scrap Mechanic. I'm like, okay, cool. This game they've been hyped about. It came out. And then I'm talking and talking and talking. And I'm like, oh, wait, I got to go put some pants on. I'll be right back. And then Dominic just goes, you know, I'm recording, right? <laughs> and the color just drains from my face. I'm like, oh, yeah, totally. I meant to say that. Duh. <laughs> so now I'm forever immortalized as the man who needs pants. For forever hey. immortalized. He <laughs> <Yeah>. needs pants. <laughs> <sighs> That was yeah, perfect. It's fine. Comed it's fine. Comedic moment in the video there. Boom. Yeah. Done. Yeah, my whole life's a joke. Why should a video be any different? <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm <laughs> playing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was too good. We ready to continue this time now? Oh, absolutely. You uh, first, my good sir. A garden world. Mercury. Enter the infinite forest and steal the algorithm that will let you track. Panoptes in the present. Ooh. And they say uh, chivalry is dead. <sighs> Many would say, but there are still those that exist with chivalry. You know what's really dumb is that um, there's like two lines 
of like the shiv the, the code of chivalry that is about treating a, like how to treat a woman and the rest is jousting etiquette etiquette Etiquette. Huh. Et 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 how to joust so when people say um chivalry is dead i'm all like no 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 grab a broomstick <laughs> you got this. Fine. there you go <laughs> grab a broomstick you know have have a board on it right between you go charge at each other let's, let's see this who is wins our only chance. exactly we use the infinite forest against the vex or we prepare for the end i'm calculating where to send us the place is easy Finding a simulation of the right time is a little tricky. All right. Find the algorithm that produced the forest. Damn it. That will lead you to Panoptes. Oh. I'm, I'm square brain. Square brain. There we go. Then we get the sparrow. The Vex will know they're at their most vulnerable here. Whee! The simulation will be well defended. I think that you can use a sparrow now. The point in history where you invent a Oh, I was engine? so happy about that. There's nothing more important. Oh, I just got telefragged. Oh, yeah. I thought they fixed. Oh, you know what? They fixed that in the strikes, not in the story mission. Oh, really? There's actually a barrier in the strikes to prevent you from going forward. I tried it. Trust me, like the first couple times I played, I tried, but uh, did not want to work out for me. Because you know me, willing to do almost anything for a laugh. Indeed. You're quite the man with that. I'm gonna pretend like that wasn't you roasting me and that was an actual compliment. Thank <laughs> you! <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Uh, I mean, oh, come on, headshots. There we go, beautiful. You know, uh, Weasel was roast, uh, Jack was roasting me the other day because uh, Warlocks aren't technically known for using hand cannons. Ooh, ah, so he, what? So, yeah, so apparently, um, warlocks are supposed to use stuff more like uh, pulse rifles and fusion rifles. Now, this isn't actually like people telling you, like, hey, this is how you should play, but um, it's just weapons that are more suited to the lore of the characters. Since, you know, the warlock's supposed to be support, you know, he's magical, oh, I'm so smart. You know, fusion rifles are like beams of light. Oh, Epic Games wants to update the launch. Not right now. Come on, I'm in the middle of the game. Wow. Hello, we want to update your launcher. That's yeah. almost like Windows going, Oh, we're going to close your game. <laughs> Ooh. I would throw hands if Windows I, did that. I'm not, I'm not. I heard they fixed that, though, so that's good. Yeah, now it just a it just asks. Like, I think it's like a... It opens in a minimized bar, and it's like, Hey, do you want to perhaps restart your computer for an update? Let us know when, and then it's just, it's a lot more useful now, I would say. I would, I would so hate if it just force updated on me while recording or doing something. I've seen a lot of streamers get booted from their game due to Windows Update. <laughs> All the memes that were made those days. Oh, the memes. Wow. Imagine having a rocket launcher. Couldn't be me. me. Couldn't be me. Ah. Freaking. The Vex have been two steps ahead overlay. of us so far. But you and Ikora have given us a chance to actually surprise them. That's impressive. I forget that shift tab. My so, Steam overlay just pops up. I guess what I'm saying is. Oh, when yeah. This is all over, I might actually. I have that problem when I'm ghost. shifting and trying to check. Just yeah, and I used to do it all the time in Warframe when I would, like, try to check the leaderboard as I'm running around. All right. right. Every so time, without tower, fail. And download the algorithm before the Vex create the infinite forest. Let's mess with a different weapon here, shall we? Uh... Oh. Pulse rifle here. Ah, yes. The Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. I've heard a lot of good things about that gun. You but I've just never, never tried it? it out. Nope. Doesn't seem to interest me. I don't typically like, uh... Oh wait, no. Monte Carlo's an auto rifle, isn't it? It's, it's an auto rifle, rifle, yes. Man, I might have to change my mind about that. It's an auto rifle that with every hit grants you melee charge. And then with every kill, there's a chance to fully recharge your melee 
just like we thought. Huh. They're ready for us. By the way, all we can do is fight our That way also in. counts for the second charge if you were in the chest plate on a hunter like mine. Oh, oh yeah. Are you? Uh, no, that's not wraith metal. Never mind. There's yeah, a, a nice exotic that's a uh, wraith metal, I think, and it um, instantly recharges your ammo. It. Uh, what else does it do? I don't remember. I just know that it was real so good that I just threw it on my hunter and never took it off. <laughs> that was it. Never taken it off ever again. Ever. It's just too good. Yes, sir. Either way, it's dead. Either way, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't tell. I was like, I tossed the knife right down the center, but I didn't know if it hit. This is like, uh -huh. It confused me. Because Looks then I like... saw you go after with your sword. I'm like, maybe oh. it was a double whammy. Uh, oh, I think my destiny just crashed. Nope, okay, we're good. My computer just froze for a split second there. Yikes. Interesting. That was scary. Having no oh. friend beside me? What? Wow, that was, especially against this Vex mind. I don't know if I could do that, Chief. <laughs> I say that, but I did all of the campaign by myself. No, I did not. I did not. I take it back. I think I did it with. We no. I don't remember. I think I actually think Jack was a little bit ahead of me. Which is we never did things together. I don't remember. It's been a really long time. I'll have to ask him for confirmation. Back when he wasn't so uh, competitive focused. Yeah. Back when you were. Back when you were, right? Uh, yeah, back when I was and he wasn't. It's so weird that he took it and I I, uh, I left you it. You lost it, yeah? I yeah, lost it. He took it. Oh, so that was you that killed the boss, yeah. I, I know. I know what happened. I mean, you're, you're uh, well. At least say your knife definitely helped, because you know damage. Uh, helps that's so. why I didn't see any damage numbers. Oh what? <laughs> wait, wait, did I, not even hit? It didn't even hit. That's why you struck oh. it before the knife could hit it. Right before oh, it could. We're in. Let's get to the top. That's why I was like, algorithm. toss the knife. Didn't hit. It's like, what? It's like. I don't feel guilty or anything. It's fine. <laughs> no. What is there to feel guilty for? Take I don't know if I'm stealing away my... from me. Ah. Yeah. That's no problem, Chief. I don't know. I'm just getting there. Ooh! Okay, we're good. I almost fell. What the hell was that? I almost fell off. I don't want to fall off. I want to fall off. I don't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a reaction. Oh, by the way, um, if. I would recommend getting. There's a certain rank in this season that you get uh, this really nice finisher. I think it's something like 20. It's a knife throw. It's super nice. I bet like, it's uh, nice, but uh, being that my focus isn't mainly destiny, I don't know if I'd make too much use out of it. I got you. That's fine. I totally understand that those things are cool, but I typically don't like keeping up with season passes. I got you. If it's given, or if I just, you know, was oh, given the ability the to get it, you know, maybe like, you know, would it, when I took that survey that Destiny gave me, I was given like 500 silver, so it was like half off. I was like, okay, why not, right? Like, just get the other 500 silver. It's basically a half off season pass, you know? Yeah, so, that's fair. If I have the ability to get it, I'll get it. But I'm not gonna push myself to keep up with it. I got you. Which is which is fine. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of bumming me out that most games are just kind of shifting towards a uh, season pass sort of thing. Even Halo has one now, apparently. Eh, but that's not even paid for either. Let's shut this machine. Yeah, down. but I mean like. I guess it's fair. Just, uh, I don't know if it resets or not, so I'm low-key worried that, uh... I'm gonna have to put in extra time to be able to... 
get something I want in a certain amount of time. I mean, Halo wasn't meant to be played for the cosmetics. They offer it as an option anyways. That's fair. Where in Destiny, you're, you're paying for the season pass to actually unlock a piece of content that you would normally get. Right. Just one. Because, I mean, you're not going to get a certain exotic it. weapon unless you pay for it so you can pass. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. Wait, hold up. I think... Yeah, I think you're right, actually. That's kind of disappointing. I'm trying to think of... Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Um, so... Um... Uh, seasonal weapons are still awarded to people who do the season pass. It's just much later, like... No, it is awarded to them, but you... They'll have to pay for the season pass. Is what I'm saying. Oh no no I, um um uh so the seasonal um uh exotic is given to regular players at rank 35. No, that's that's just part of that season. I'm talking about the exotic you get from buying the season pass. You know, like the uh, what was that one laser pistol called? Oh, Devil's Run? Yeah, you know, you had to buy the season pass to actually access that content. Did you really? Wait, then how did Jacob get it? I'm confused. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. Never mind, question solved. Question solved. So, instead Me. of just buying, which usually the expansion pack comes with the season pass, right? Yes, typically. So, as long as that keeps happening, I guess that's all right. I'd rather buy an expansion pack and have access to content, Bingo. you know? Right. Rather yeah. than just constantly paying for new and new and new season passes for content. Because, right. you know, those things are released a lot more often than that of a expansion. I got you. Scanning. You like dancing in that. Oh, yeah. Obviously Overlay felt good. the map. <laughs> Got him. You wanna? Pinocchio you wanna? Always ends up in the same Gather up. It's over. <laughs> this is how we the Perfect. There we go. Take the Cheese. A new future. Perfect. I got it. We're good. I will inform Osiris. <laughs> Wait. A defensive subroutine? New reality branch is forming. No. No. Hey, they're big ugly. <laughs> Ooh. That uh, scream always gets me every time. Uh -huh, it's got me. Where are we? <laughs> Mercury? How did we get back here? The last thing I remember, we were in the EDC. We found that device and then wham. Oh, I feel so strange. Like someone's rearranged all the furniture in the house, except the house is my brain. <laughs> all right, look, I never thought I'd have to ask this, but who else has been inside my head? Uh, accessing memory core. Huh, you've been busy. Correction, you've been busy without me. It's interesting that there's no voice acting that. from the main character. Wait a second, there's something else in here with me. Encoded hollow images. Big ones. Definitely Vex. Look, I can't decrypt those files or open the gate. We need backup. We need Ikora. Good idea, right? You're welcome. Wait, why did I just say that? Careful, your Sagira is showing. Yeah, exactly. I was like, <laughs> you have a bit of Sagira popping in. Dr. Poiré. Okay. Ever since the, uh, the Red Legion War, when Ikori, like, had that huge, like, scene where she had that Nova bomb and jumped on that Thrasher, and she like, you'll find no mercy from me! And then just go <laughs> them. Like she's she's the ultimate badass in my eyes. Like like friggin' when we go to see Icor, I look at her and I'm all like, "Girl, I know you strong. What's up?" Well, not only is you know 
uh, Zavala pretty serious about what he wants to do. Ikora tends to be pretty serious as well. Especially when when the uh, setting is supposed to be dark and sad feeling because she's got that aura about her where she's always talking about the sad things. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go talk to Zavala get some good rewards. You can get your rewards. That I will dismantle. <laughs> awesome! Great rewards! Nah. <laughs> Break it down. Right, ten. Right, ten sixty-two already. The only power ranking I'm getting is from the seasonal artifact. Speaking of which, I'm about to rank up with the umbral engrams. When did I miss those two? I huh. Again, I do find it interesting that there's certain parts where your character will speak in a cinematic, and then most of it's like, yeah, no, they don't speak at all. Have they ever spoken? Yeah. Um. um so, with when they revamped the uh, start of the game for new players, oh yeah, yeah. Right, right. they spoke, and then you right. know when uh, we took a peek at the moon and looked at a part of the shadow keep cinematic your character spoke to uh what's her face iris morn iris morn yeah remember yeah yeah well see uh, well the um shadow keep comes uh like me try not to say anything shadow keep is really really cool so uh it kind of makes sense that there'd be voice the acting, but... There, well, it depends. I mean, again, you've got voice acting at the very start, but then you, right. not throughout the rest of the game. Then you've got this voice acting appearing again. You're like, what? Yeah. Um, For the first couple DLCs, I just, I don't know what was going on, but they just didn't have them talk. Maybe to save money or something? No idea. But, you just see yeah. your character kind of react and throw their hands and whatever. It's kind of like, wouldn't it be nice if they spoke? Yeah. Be like, be like that guy from Star Wars. I have spoken. Okay. I I'm have gonna, spoken. I'm going to talk to Cora here now. All right. Sounds good. I refuse to allow us to come this close to victory and fail. Sagira's sacrifice has to mean something. You know where Panoptes waits, as does Osiris. He will try to fight it on his own. And without our help, he will die. And without Sagira, only she could open the gateway. She was our key. Osiris may have taught me everything he knew about being a warlock, but that's not everything I know. You must return to Mercury, and this time I will go with you. Oh, okay. God. Omega. Where thou we go now. We go. I just need something that'll work. Uh where? I don't want you to record this transaction. We don't want Enter the infinite forest and beat Panoptes now before a vex victory becomes inevitable. Uh oh, back to Mercury. Okay. Oh, you ready? I must have lost track of time. Robert? Hello, guys. Are you muted? Me forgetting I muted my mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go whenever you are, my guy. Omega. Mercury. It's now or never. Enter the infinite forest and defeat Panoptes now before the Vex future victory becomes inevitable. Launching off into the great beyond. Yeehaw, cowboy. Sometimes makes you think if technology like this were to ever exist, what it would be like to travel beyond the stars. Huh? Trying to think too much about it. <laughs> I try, I mean, uh, I have neither the intellectual capacity nor the time. <laughs> it is interesting yeah. to think about, though. Oh, it is interesting, but um, people start, like, I've, I. You know, Elon Musk is talking, like, actually talking about um, ways that we can start doing it, and he'll lose me, like, the first 30 seconds. This is a joke. I've never actually heard him talk about it. 
this is it. Whether oh it's us goodness. or Panoptes, someone's interesting conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. We don't have years, so I like how she's floating. Well, warlock, you know, but <laughs> why can't I float like that? She's just currently floating. Go! Whee! Well, if that solved everything. Let me just scoot you in here. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> if he dies, he dies for good. The infinite forest. It's huge. Oh, he didn't grab on. He didn't grab on. I never thought that Goodbye. When the fate of the world is not at stake. Oh, you can just keep can going. I'll catch up. Back. Guardian down. Uh, oh, okay. I've got that. I've got that warlock skate. Yeet. Use my sword. Every time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to melee. Nope. <laughs> like, get the hell out of here. Makes you feel any better? I can't pop off headshots anymore for some reason. Oh, uh, don't worry. I feel like I've dropped an ability too. I've kind of gone on the mellow, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm about. RL craft has kind of taken some of that challenge currently. We've uh, uh, we've gone. Me and Drake have gone pretty far in RL craft to the point where we're taking on bosses without too much of an issue. Like we took on the Ender Dragon in RL craft. And that wasn't too big of a problem. You just had to go away and heal every once in a while because, you know, dragons actually kind of slow compared to your mounts. <laughs> I gotcha. Oh, that's right, because you can, uh, they're, they're soul bound, so you can get them into the end. Yeah, well, we've got this, we've got this really fast dragon, which has, like, a kind of boost. And boy, does it travel. We've been, oh. I said open door. Open sesame. Robert. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> wow. What do you know? Just my luck. Just our luck. Hello, hello, hello. Once again, although this will be maintained in the same video, but uh, apparently my internet just went out haphazardly for only a few minutes. I'm going to be splicing this video together. Um, thankfully, Robert here was still connected to the internet because he's somewhere else, unlike I'm here. In California, which <laughs> is much better. Just saying. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, ho I hope so. I mean... <laughs> I'd, ha I'd hate for you to be somewhere worse, right? Somewhere bad. Somewhere good. <laughs> that was a joke, fam. Well, California is as bad as it gets. <laughs> Woo. Oh, well, that's we just play too for, bad. We pay for plastic bags to go grocery shopping. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, we have to pay 10 cents for... Uh, it's like Walmart. The ga I don't know if the gas station does it, but... Most... Well, at first, I didn't think you were being serious, but damn... Oh no, I'm being dead serious. It is uh interesting. I think we also um retirement gets taxed. I don't know, but there's a lot of stuff that uh it's not cool in California. Very wow. not cool. That bites, man. I didn't know you had to do pay for all that kind of stuff extra. I mean it is only ten cents. Yeah, but, but it's just kinda like, so. huh. That can that can sort of stack depending on how much uh groceries you buy. Yeah. Huh. It's just it's just out of the norm. It's like that's unusual. <laughs> we don't usually pay pay for plastic bags because they're just so easy to make. They're just recycled, you know, usually. Yeah. 
Well, I um, I took a road trip down to Idaho, and on the way there, we stopped in Oregon, and um, I was at the gas station. I tried to give him 10 cents, and he was like, what is this for? And I was like, oh, we're in Oregon. And I was like, oh, nothing. I'll just take this perfectly good bag. <laughs> and thing happened in Idaho when I was at the Walmart. I, uh, I was buying some coffee for me and my friends. Um, when the uh, the world, no on the way out, I was asking, like, do we have to pay for these bags? And they're like, no, no, you're good. Just take them. And I was like, well, I know where I'm moving. Then, I, then I'd make a story out of it. I'd be like, you guys won't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you had to pay. You have to pay ten cents per bag that you use when you uh, check out at a grocery store. They'd be like, "The what?" <laughs> yeah, because even they wouldn't want to have to pay for bags when nobody else really has to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, back into the game once again after internet outage. Now you gotta love that. But here we are speaking about Windows, you know, taking over your system and probably closing you out of your game due to an update. Oh no, here we go. We got internet outage. Oh, great. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. I mean, at least at least it isn't able to kill a recording, but you know, it's able to disrupt it. All right. Yeah, especially when you're playing online. Uh, it's a bad kid. All right, now we can progress. Here I'm we go. definitely gonna clip, uh, clip the end off a little bit and just splice it together. That's just that was unexpected. Yeah. Oh, that was the wrong key. I wanted to throw my grenade. Wow, what is with my aim right now? Nah, my aim's pretty bad too, don't we? We're both kind of off. Let's just say that. Uh, if my raid team gets mad at me, I'm blaming you. I'm saying uh, he took all my aim from me. I don't know how I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm going to siphon some of your brain power. You know, just like that. Because <laughs> uh, I'm just like that. Get one chance at this. If we lose Panoptes here, we me failing to, to warlock it skate. It's fine. Hello, Panoptes! We're here to kick you in the ass! And then some! Yeah! Mm. Finally get to face off with Big Bad. Immune on you. So your troops are worthless! There we go. Get my rhythm back. What's up, dude? Saw. So how did we hurt, big boy? Uh, spoilers. Spoilers. Gotta love it. Yes, sir. I'm probably just not gonna try mailing. <laughs> <laughs> Every stinking time. Uh, yeah, I know you say that one. <laughs> you held off your gun. <laughs> I uh, I don't know whatever you mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, it's it's totally fine. I'm just making it funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're good, you're good. Oh, that was... Okay. That one was not me, just FYI. No, it was not. I Cyrus and I initiated it, but I didn't think I was going to get an aim on a target here. like that. We are. Okay. Oh, let me turn on the music really quick. Uh, you have fun with uh, this. There we go. That's more perfect. No, 
no, no. It's deleting us from the forest. I can't stop it. Enough, Key. Face me. <laughs> I'll block it for as long as I can. You must take down its defenses. Whee! Rings of momentum. Oh, I just, I, I, I forgot that it's actually damaging you as, you, as it attacks charge. you. I can give you a clear shot at its eye, Guardian. Big bada boom. Wow, it sent you all the way back. Whew. And you beat the pro. You, you, the can tell, you can tell that it's scripted because the momentum isn't actual momentum. It's just like you're riding a line. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you can tell those little details sometimes. You're like, you're very stiff. You aren't really free, freely moving anywhere. Such darkness. Darkness burns my eyes. Try it again, I dare you. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Let's see what happens. Your time in the infinite forest ends now. The shields. Whee! <laughs> Fly so far away. Give me that act charge. Wabammy. Guardian down. <laughs> ah, you're stuck there, bud. That's fine. I love being able to look at pinappies in the face. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? About to get your butt kicked? Yeah, I know. Me too. <laughs> You just got your butt kicked, actually. <laughs> well, Not about to, you just did. Hey, hey, listen, here in the Infinite Force, time is relative. I you listen. Let get away. Listen. Follow it. Fly, fly away! That's <laughs> what I'm good at. Oh, me thinking I can actually make this. Oh, snap. Okay, never mind. I can. You're a bad boy. I love his voice actor. <laughs> oh, beautiful.
<laughs> Vex's mind is destroyed, and the path to their dark future is gone with it. And in case you were wondering, our guardians were amazing. Our guardians? Huh. My guardian. Guardian thief. <laughs> Osiris. It's been jealous. A very long time. Too long, my. <laughs> I was going to say student, but well, that word is too small for you now. I've had other teachers. Time. Pain. A guardian who makes a habit of the impossible. <laughs> who I'm proud to call a friend. The world has changed. So has the city. You could come back with me. No, my place is here now. We stopped the Vex this time. But many equations lead to the same solution. If they were ever to find another... Besides, I predicted many things, but I never saw you. Now we... Have a future. The pathway to the forest will be open if you ever need to find me. Or if you want to talk. I'd like that. Great. Galaxy saved. Friends again. Our big hero over here. And by the way, you're welcome. <laughs> Come, little light. We have infinite realities to explore. And all the time in the world. That fanfare at the end. Whew. <laughs> well, finally, there you have it. Curse of Osiris, huh? You, yes, sir? Oh, I think goodness. this was a good hour. That, I think that uh, this video surpassed over an hour. So yeah, that was definitely much longer than that of War Mind. Far yeah. longer. <laughs> it's pretty good though. Pretty nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, this one was. I, I I definitely think the voice acting was a lot better. Um, not to say that Anna Bray or you know Zavala are bad voice actors, but just like. When uh, Sagira got caught by Panaptes, mm -hmm. when Osiris was telling Panaptes to give him back his ghost, just oh, chills every time. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> Gives a chill. Huh? That's funny. All right, then. I hope you all have enjoyed this new episode. It's been a while, I know, but I can't get everybody together all the time. Sometimes we all need a break <laughs> once in a while, right? Or because we just have multiple interests. But I try whenever we can get together. Uh, mm. Other than that, Osiris taught us that we were... thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this combat. I'm Mr. Robert. See you in the next episode.